this session is going to be on how do we actually how to think or swim how do we use think or swim to be able to have the you know the right tool sets to trade to to actually conduct technical analysis and be in profitable trades so i have a quote here from forbes and the question is or yeah do you have the right tools to succeed so i want you to drop a one if you believe that you have the right tools to succeed and drop a two if you think that you do not okay so lots of ones excellent okay one and two a couple of twos in here okay so my goal by the end of this session is that you have the right tools in think or swim to be able to succeed to be able to conduct technical analysis to be able to become profitable um to be you know to know how to use them right because you could talk about a trend line all day but if you don't know how to use a trend line then what's the point of knowing what a trend line is right same thing when it comes to fibonacci's support and resistance and things like that so we will definitely tackle that uh today so part of the content today we're going to do a walkthrough of you know what what is the think or swim portal or the, the uh, desktop client we are also going to talk about the real-time data setup we're going to go through the chart setups and also adding studies we talked about the 9 and 21 we've talked about trend lines we've talked about these different patterns i'm going to show you exactly how to do that uh in think or swim and if we do find a profitable trade I, I will you know get into a trade as well uh we're going to talk about how to actually create a watch list so how do how do you actually have a watch list that you can go to uh to know exactly what's going on with that stock whether or not there has been a change throughout the day you know things like that we're also going to go over scanners right you want to be efficient you want to be a efficient trader you don't want to be in front of your screen all day that's not going to do anything good for you right you want to be efficient and you want to know exactly what to do to become a, a efficient trader we're also going to go about on uh, drawing tools how do you actually use the drawing toolbox that we have in thinkorswim thinkorswim is super super extensive uh so we're definitely going to cover that and then lastly the on demand feature okay it's 1208 right now before we get started i do have a question for you do you want to be a busy or a productive trader so drop busy or drop productive what do you want to be okay because a lot of people are very very busy traders and you're in front of a screen all day but they're productive as, as i can see from the chat here that's definitely the way to go when it comes to trading you want to be productive in everything you do right we want to be able to get in and out make our goal and go about our day spend time with family and have freedom that's the whole scope behind trading and i, I definitely want to say that i'm very very proud of each single person part of this chat. And the reason why is because things like the stock market, those are things that people run away from, right? And here you are learning, putting in the work and being consistent, having discipline to become that next gen trader. And again, I definitely applaud you and I definitely appreciate you for tapping in. So today we're definitely gonna, you know, definitely tackle that, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go through the walkthrough of the portal, real-time data. So let me go ahead and share my screen and I am going to solve one of the problems that most people should have or may have uh, in their thing swim. So let me go ahead and just change screens here. Give me one quick second. And I want every single person to open up their thing or swim. Drop a one once you have thing or swim open and that you have um, logged in, okay? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let me get my brush ready, which is the tool that I use to point and stuff like that. Uh, so let me get that ready. All right, so a couple of different things that we have here. When you log in, if you are in paper trading again if you are in paper trading you're going to see this it's going to say simulated trading drop a one if this is what you currently see in your um in your environment excellent excellent for those that are using ipads and mobiles it's a totally different ball game you know i'm going on the desktop because i highly recommend you to be on a desktop either a, a imac you know any type of desktop or not a laptop to be able to trade okay uh, if you're in live, that's totally cool. We're not going to execute any trades. And if we do, I will, I will definitely let you know. Um, but if, if you're in live, you can stay on live. That's totally cool. Right. So simulated trading is what I'm at. I'm on right now. You know, under that, you have account info. This tells you exactly your options buying power. This tells you, you know, how much money you got for Forex and basically more on your available balance when it comes to your trading. Right on the left hand side here, you're going to see these different little boxes. These little boxes are very, very critical. And I'm going to show you why here it shows live news. Right. So, for example, let's say if I'm trading Tesla and I want to have live news just popping up because you never know, you know, a bad uh, catalyst may happen. You know, th things ha happen when it comes to Tesla's or if not, they got good news when it comes to deliveries that directly affects the stock. So for that reason, you can have the live news there. And again, all you got to do is just change the ticker. And it will go ahead go ahead and populate and update that as you go throughout the day 
right? Next, we have here the Trader TV. Trader TV is TD Ameritrade. So if I if I click on play here, I can watch TD Ameritrade. So, so while I'm trading, I can watch TD Ameritrade and have these different analysts give me insight when it comes to what's happening across the stock market. Me personally, I don't use that. People do like to use that. Me personally, I try to block out the noise, trade my plan, trade my strategy, and just go with that, okay? So um, then we have watch this, then we have quick chart. Okay, right now we're gonna do two things and I, I do want you to follow. The first thing I'm gonna do is that I want you to go to settings. If you have the Trader TV, I want you to take that out. And if you have um, more than one watch list, I, I only want you to keep one, okay? So if you have Trader TV, take that out. And if you have more than one watch list, I, I only want you to keep one. So I want yours to, to, to look like this, account info, live news, quick chart and then watch list and and again i'll definitely give you time to drop a one if you are there and of course if you want to come off mute and ask questions I'm more than happy to okay so brian good job Lolita, good job nicole great job athea randy reggie good job excellent excellent perfect let's go ahead and give it a few more seconds the settings i think it was yeah the settings is all the way at the bottom you're going to see this plus sign at the right hand side you're going to see the settings uh, right so you all you got to do is just click on settings for customized gadgets, and then you're going to have all your gadgets. And then on the right hand side, you can X them out, right? So that gear icon is the settings icon. Okay. So drop Somebody the had asked also, how did you get it into the simulated trading? I know I see it on the top. Great question. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'll let you get to, to, to this point. Let me go ahead and show how, um, how I did that. Right. So I want you to quit think or swim. So once we quit think or swim, uh, and then I look for my thinkorswim. I, I have a Mac. You you may have a Windows. Same thing, right? Just look for thinkorswim. Thinkorswim will just start, you know, rendering, installing updates. And then from there, it's going to give you a signing page. Within that signing page, once it populates here, right, you're able to toggle between live trading, which is going to be green, and pay per money, which is going to be that, you know, gold uh, looking color, right? I put my password in, I log in, and then I wait. Uh, roll mark, you are right in time. I'm going to show exactly how to set up real time trading in a second. Okay, let's give it a second. It usually takes a few seconds for Thinkorswim to open. But while we do that, if you if you already logged in to Thinkorswim, just go ahead and get the you know the watch list and every, everything like that going. By the way, I know some of you guys are at work listening to this. It'll be available right afterwards on Facebook and on our website in a few days. So feel free to still listen in. But mm -hmm. I know you know it might be difficult, but we got you. Definitely, definitely. So now I'm back into my simulated trading. I can see that, hence the gold banner at the top. All right, simulated trading. Uh, is there a limited time frame we have access to paper trading? Nope, you have that for life. Chris, what site would you recommend if a brokerage doesn't have paper trading? Uh, Thinkorswim is the one that I really recommend for paper trading. Uh, By the way, this is free to set up, right? So yeah. for you, some of you guys that are just learning, I would recommend downloading it just to go through the process with us so you can get yeah. to know it, you know, even if you use something else. Yeah. So definitely download that. Please download the desktop client on your iPad and, and mobile device is going to look a lot different. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue. We have live news on BA. Then we have quick chart. On the quick chart, I usually put spy. All right. I usually like to put spy in here. And let's go ahead and go to the bottom. I want you to click on the plus sign. So not the settings uh, icon. I want you to go to add gadget. That's going to open up this pane. And I want you to get another quick chart. So now this quick chart, what I want you to put here is VIX, V-I-X. Does anyone know what the VIX is? Drop it in the chat if you know what the VIX is. Drop a one if you know what the VIX is. What, what, the, what is the volatility index? Drop a two if you do not. Okay, so lots of ones. Excellent, excellent, perfect. You definitely have heard Ian talk about it. Lawrence, for sure, uh, talk about the VIX. Um, the VIX is basically volatility index. It shows fear across the market, right? So the higher the VIX, the more selling there is across the market. The lower the VIX, the more buying there is across the market. 